Well, I'm finally back. Today we are installing a Raypack Ovia swimming pool heater, but we are going to change it up this time. We are going to add an external heater bypass, not just to boost flow and efficiency, but to give this heater a longer lifespan. There's a ton of examples of heater bypasses on social media, and I think 99% of them are all wrong. And here's the truth. Without a flow metering device like this, you're guessing the flow rates, and that's a no-no. We'll circle back, but some of you are not fans of using Galvanize for gas lines. It's actually mandated here. Yeah, you're right. Galvanize had a bad reputation back in the day. Those issues are just not a problem anymore. Now let's just spray paint it to make it look like Schedule 80. <laughs> but on a serious note, every pool heater on the market brings something unique to the table. That's why you always see me install different brands. One thing I am not is a professional painter. I'm a pool plumber, so if you don't want any overspray, go hire a painter. So what's the whole purpose of a bypass? Well, it gives you control. It diverts water around the heater when it's not in use, so water doesn't have to fight through all that restriction. And when the heater is in use, more water gets diverted through the heater to meet its heating requirements, which once again, you'll never know without a flow metering device. Now this isn't a DIY project, but it's definitely a game changer. So leave this one up to the real pool pros, if you can find one. 